What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the special video I am making. Today we are in my favorite program that I use to make my 2D animations which is called Anime Studios now named Moho but I don't have that version yet. But today I'm going to show you something. Today we are going to be making a 3D object and I already got started with making the leg. What is the 3D object is? It's going to be Asgore Throne. So I got this image, blew it up a bit, and I can actually make it a little bit bigger by grabbing one of these points and just stretching. So now we have a good image. So this is the leg, and it looks very close, but it needs to bend in that way. So let's just grab this and go like that. And that looks pretty much close to it. And now I just take this and just close that off. That. It's a little off, but I could just take care of that by doing that. And now those sharp edges, I can just go in and grab the points I want to literally make smoother like that. And then, oh, I should do that one too. I just hit this button and this makes it sharp and this gives it more of a smooth edge. Hmm. That looks pretty close. I guess I didn't need to have that point there. But right now, we're gonna highlight all of it and I'm gonna pick a nice gold color for it. And we're just gonna make that. And now we have an image, but Control G to turn off the grid. And then this one will allow us to rotate in a three dimensional world. But as you can clearly see, it's still two dimensional. So, but if we go into this thing and then hit this, we click the extrude and then unmark those unless you want them. And then boom. And we have a 3D leg. And here's the beautiful part. Once we are done building this, if we go over to here, go to export, and as you can see here, the file my format, we can export it as. I would prefer you use OBJ because any 3D software will recognize that thing. And there. So now I'm just going to go back into here and I'm going to use this border, which is basically anything inside this box is what will be shown and anything outside the box will not. I don't know if this is going to show up, but let me just see. Okay, I'm back. And now if I do this again, as I did before, and hit control R, it will show you a rendering scene and as you can see anything outside that little blue square will not be visible. So with that said, let's just uh, press control Z a few times and put this back. Now we gotta decide how far apart I want the legs to be. And I think I'm gonna use the uh, screen as my block and just stretch it up like that and just try to put that there now if I could hit control C and then control V that makes a duplicate and if I click shift and drag it will go on the vertical C or the horizontal I think I may have messed that up but anyway here we go and this will flip it and boom we have the legs so let's just name that front legs there we go front legs I had to say that silently and to make a duplicate I just hit this it's the duplicate button and we'll just change front legs to back legs. 
Uh, one second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. As I said, we just uh, named that. And here's the beautiful part. We could go into here and see how far away we want the uh, back legs and front legs to be. Again, I feel like I should use this box with, well, this does not show up in the 3D plane. This is what this is. So, we're just gonna hit this and scroll this button. Here we go. And I think that's about hmm, maybe a little further behind. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good for the legs. And now for the seat. Which, again, we only have this 2D image to go by, so we just have to um, play it by ear. I think I could get by by making two oval... Oops. Oh, wait, that's a square. Ovals, and then... Uh, yeah, uh, let's just do the grid, so, and now I make sure those are all, okay, looks like I have to move these over so slightly, there we go, uh, where is it, uh, there it is, boom, okay, and I can just, Dress the bottom half a little bit. Well, actually, actually, I think I could just um stretch it out this way oh. because I just realized those are like the garments right there. So that will be on. That's the difficult part right there. Okay, that looks about right. Uh, let's just make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to use these two points right here to establish how far apart I want it to be. There we go. Hmm. I just realized that that's not even. Okay, I just hit control. X and that deletes it automatically. So let's try this again. And using the uh, bottom half and making sure the top one. Oh. Okay. Move that over a little bit. Move the bottom one over a little bit. And do that. Okay, and right now it still looks a little too rounded. So, this part which also sharpens, as I showed you, it can also be used. Let me just control Z a little bit. And here we go. That looks more like a cushion. And we actually have to make two parts of this. So this is going to be, I'm not going to bother labeling these, I'm just going to color this purple, or oh, wait, is that it? Yeah, purple. Hmm. It's more like a pink color to me, but nope, it says purple, and we got plain. So we'll just go with purple, and we're just going to duplicate it. First, we're gonna do this again. And boop. Okay. And we're going to, as I said, duplicate it. And then hit the Alt key. And then stretch it down, like so. I, I gotta move that over so I can see. Alright. And we pretty much almost got the seat part done. I know what you're thinking, it's not... How is that going to be the seat area? You're just going to have to wait and see. So... Oh yeah. 
color that purple now. Oh my goodness, that color is a spitting image. Okay. And we're just gonna... Well, first we gotta do this and hit this and we just simply do that and now we go. Now I know which one to do it and we're gonna hit... Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter. It's just gonna go 90 degrees. Oh, okay, so it doesn't do the same thing for multiple layers. Um, why is it? Oh, apparently I made three layers. Oh, okay. I think I know what I did. And we just lift that up slightly. Turn it off the grid. You won't see that purple part. Okay. Now I can see it's a little too small. Well, that's why we got this layer. So let's just stretch it out. And then we're just gonna lift it up. Slight. Mm. Now here's the difficult part. It goes by five millimeters. I mean five things. And now it's oh wait a minute. Oh I think that might be just what I need. Now I just need to move it over slightly. Okay now I'm gonna turn that off and see how it looks. I'm gonna go onto a different layer and see how it looks. It's looking good, looking good. A little blocky, but hey, this is just a tutorial. Doesn't need to be perfect. Besides, this is pretty much the um, limit it can do. By that I mean to make it look as good as possibly can. But now, the reason I am doing this is because I was trying to look for the right uh, Gary's mom model that would look like it from the game, but I can't seem to find it on the Steam Workshop. Anyway, I'm gonna create another group layer and then drag these three objects into that layer. And now we're just gonna... I'm just gonna grab the word throne right here and just bam like that also I prefer you uh, save your progress even though anime studios have this special feature which basically has autosave so if the program would do like say uh, crash on me all my progress I made will still be saved I would just have to uh well add it to a new file but here's the thing sometimes the files get corrupted and you have to like like say I have chair labeled and then it get becomes corrupted because of the uh, crash and I can't access that anymore well there are one or two ways to fix that. One, I can either just put a number in front of it, like chair two, or basically restart my computer because then I would be able to override that program. Though it doesn't work 100% of the time, but it does work most of the time. Oh wait, I just realized that's showing it from the back. This is supposed to be the front. I can fix it in post. Or you know. So now we have to... I should move that back into view. Okay. So now we gotta work on the back. The arms, I think I can... 
freestyle that by using this tool. Okay, so we just go like that. Mm, close enough. But I think it needs to be a little closer together. Oh, it's a little finicky. But I think it can work for me. There we go. We have the first arm. Again. I think we can also do the same thing with uh, the legs. Again, we just hit this. That boom 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 and I'm gonna put it on its Oh yeah We can't do the whole control Z control and copy it because that won't work this way. It's gonna be have to be two separate entities in order to do this part. Okay, well that's gonna be the arms, so I'll, I'll just land that with them. Uh, uh, the throne. Uh, apparently, it didn't save me copying that. Okay, am I on the right one? Yes, I am. So now I just uh, boop and boop, and I guess I should have. Well, I could have said should have put like it either left or right, but I don't know which side it's gonna be right now. So we're gonna have to hit boom, and now it's the same color as that. So I'm gonna just uh, call this um, one again. Or I G H T right, and make a duplicate. Call it. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I shouldn't duplicate it yet. Because I still need to uh, position it. And also, I should move that more into this center. So I can actually see where the center is. And now, do this. Again, gotta figure out which ones are rich. And this is the one that will taste it the right way. And now, go into here and hit rotate that way. I think that's us put it behind it. Yep. And it's upside down. Wait a minute. That might be good. Okay, let's um, flip it. That's not the way I wanted to go, but there we are. And now I can shrink that down and move it forward. Okay. And now I can see that the share piece is off. But at least we're getting there. So now we just. I have a hard time remembering which ones are which, okay? Alright. I think it needs to be thicker. And here's how you would make it thicker. All right. And okay, that looks good. All right. Oh, I think it needs to come back some more. Oh, I could just simply do this. Yeah. And the back of the chair will cover up that area. Unfortunately, we will be seeing the back of the chair. Okay, that's the royal crest. Okay. So now I make a duplicate of it and we name it left side. L E F T. Left throne. I guess I should have allowed it arm. Yeah. A. R M boom and A R M boom. There we go. And now, oh wait a minute. Oh, 
this may work out good for me. Okay. Uh, ah, damn it. Mm. Alright, I think I just remove that minus sign and boom! Equally spaced on the other side. So you can see the throne is really coming together. I'll put like a little leg or something coming down there to attach it to the bottom of the chair. But you can see it's coming together. Okay, get back to the front. Now we gotta do the back. Okay, so for this, I think I'm just gonna trace this the best I can. And then I'll just make sure. There we go. And you may notice that's not following it directly. We turn off this sharp, and now we can manipulate it at the points. We can add as much as we want to add some more details to it. And when oh, getting back to Moho, Moho was I don't understand. I mean. You're calling the program a different name. Okay, I can understand that. But why would you put a number on it when you're giving it a brand new name? Like, the first one they had, Moho 12. It went from Anime Studio Pro 11 to Moho 12. And that just doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, why would you rename the program and continue the number when there's not even a Moho 11? It just goes from Moho, it just goes from Anime Studio Pro 11 to Moho 12. Why? Why would you do that? Okay. Alright, uh, you know what, here's how I can bring in that item, let's just pull up one of my tutorials that I made, oh yeah, that, yeah, Torio has had several different designs, there's my eyes gone and there's the chair we're working on, so I just drag in my Torio. She has had three different shape shifts. And this is this is basically model well actually this is model one. This is model two and this is model three. Okay, we need the front half of Torio and I know that's the back, but it's on a switch layer, so I go into um so that so I actually can see. We go into the front half, and I'll just grab this icon from here, and then I could just drag and drop. So first, highlight around the part where I want to copy over to another area, and make sure I don't. If you want to like only copy those things, you gotta hit shift before doing that. Or else if you do this first and then try doing that, it won't only allow you to copy one. But if you hit shift, if well if you hit shift and then trace around the object you want to add to another product, oh, I forgot that triangle, and then hit control and see that copies it. Okay, we don't need Torio anymore, so goodbye. Give it a few seconds to render, and then control V, voila, there it is. And it's gonna be a little odd. 
Okay. So, getting back to the throne. Um, this is gonna be the back half. So, I think a straight line would do. do. Okay. I definitely need to shrink that down at least enough so it looks good. Okay, that looks about right. And I'm just gonna copy the part that I just traced. Which basically is these two parts. Control C, Control V, and flip. Close, hide that image. And bring that over the, there. And it's okay if it's not all the way across. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not like I'm gonna sell this model. And now I just decide where I want the line to be. And well, I'm just gonna create another group folder. But before I decide, I'm just gonna bring this into the middle and press Alt. I gotta zoom in. Alt and whoop, there we go. Uh, it needs to be a little bit bigger, I think. There we go. I can always drink it later. All right, there we go. And now I just color it in. Uh, mm. Oh yeah, it's gonna have to be three parts. Yeah, definitely gonna have to be in three parts. By that I mean the color scheme. All right. Three parts will be the back, the cushion, and the symbol. All right, and now I'll uh, boop boop. All right, and this will be the symbol. So let's uh, delete the other two pieces. And boom. All right. Oh, I said boom. Okay, and next part. Would you be the image? This is right here. And boom. And boom. So that's just the cushion now. And now I'll just delete these two pieces. See that the middle is already selected. Bam. Now highlight all of them. Go into here and highlight that and that should add it to all of it yep so now i'm going to bring this forward again all right there we go and i got to bring this forward by two all right and i can see it's a little too thick it's a little too thick and i think it's actually floating up front a bit so I need to shrink that down slightly. There we go. Just enough to make it look like it's just in broader. And... Alright. Oh, you know what? I just realized something else I could have done. Okay, so let's just highlight these things. I highlight this image again. Go into the cushion area. Put that back in. Uh, I already have the cushion selected. I'm just gonna do this. And hopefully... Hopefully this works. I It's a 50-50 chance it will work or not. And it did work! It did work. Let me just hide this one. And it definitely left a imprint of it. This means I can now... Take this and we set that to the default settings. Uh, unless it puts it all the way back. Okay, well, I can't bring it out any. Well, actually, I think I can bring it out just a tiny bit. That's too much. So let's just make it the. Uh, 
zero point fifteen, and we'll do the same thing with this one. Zero point fifteen. Boom. Let me just uh, hide that, and there we have the back. Uh, the back is facing the wrong way, but. And it looks like the back, a little, the main back is too thick. Feels like it should be a little skinnier. One, one. There we go. Not too thin. No, oh, I think that's a little too thin. There we go. That looks better. And just bring that forward a bit. And that's too far. So again, zero point, uh, let's try 13. Oh, I forgot to put the zero point in. Okay, zero point. Boom. Ooh, that's too far. Let's try 12. Still too much. Uh, 10. Okay, let's just, okay, it's getting there. It's getting there, it's getting there. I think, uh, I think nine would be the magic number. Zero point nine? No. Zero, zero point zero nine. Okay, uh, let's try five. Okay, looks like that will do it. Okay. Hey, and that's um, I'm just gonna flip that around. Okay, so I think it's gonna be 180 degree. Yep, there we go. And it's a little too big, but like I said earlier, we could just shrinky dink that now. And hopefully. I can get it, and now it's floating too high up. I gotta get this chair. It's a little off, but uh, I think I should have worked on the thickness. But it's just for show. It's not like I'm gonna sell it, like I said. It just needs to look the part. And there you go, we got Asgard Throne, and it's, I guess I can perfect it in some more, but basically there you have it, and now if I highlight this, now I can leave this in, it won't render with it, but I'm gonna just delete it for now. And just hit control or export. And I'm just gonna type in OBJ, even though it will add that at the end. But that way. And now I'll go into Blender and you'll see that this thing is actually now a 3D model. Okay, and here we are in Blender. Let me just uh, remove this cube and go into import. Uh, where is it? OBJ. And I already typed in the number. And here it is. Asgard Throne. And there you have it. Asgard Throne. Completely in Anime Studios and export it as an OPJ file and it's all one solid match uh, and I'm just gonna click rotate Z and 180 so that way boom now it's in the front and you can manipulate it it's totally a 3D model completely made in anime studios so there you go I have made a 3d model in anime studios 
and in the export it in to Blender. So if you like this, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to check out my animations that I made and tell me what you think and I'll probably make another tutorial if people like this but so far it looks pretty damn good I have to say so until the next video this is Edge signing off while editing this video, I took the time to improve on the chair for Asgore, also in Anime Studios. And here is the finished product. Tell me what you think in the comments below.